Second and goal. Jones hit as he throws. It's going to be ruled incomplete. That time, the pressure got near him quickly. Yeah. Watt, of course, is so good at getting, attacking the football. But watch how he doesn't get the ball out quickly. He's, he's kind of having to hitch, hitch, hitch. You do not want to do that against Bud Dupree and T.J. Watt. You just can't do it. That The opening drive, what they did a good job of was getting the ball out quickly. And a third down against Bud Dupree and T.J. Watt, and they've shown that. Three tight end look for New York. Jones intercepted, threw it into traffic, and it's picked off by T.J. Watt, who dropped into coverage and fooled the young quarterback. What a call here by Pittsburgh. T.J. Watt, great pass rusher, right? Instead, he senses this. Great instincts to see the throw, and instead of realizing it's quick game, I can't get in there, he just kind of bends and waits to explode up to either knock it down or get both hands on it, and he gets both hands and makes the catch. That's just a football player making a play right there by T.J. Watt. He's used to creating takeaways, but usually by knocking the football loose. But I'm just talking about Jones' understanding of the scheme and the skill he has around him to work. They, this group's got a chance. Under pressure, fires into the carpet. By the way, this defense, as we, you just said, is going to do this to a lot of offenses this year and a lot of offensive lines. This is a third and four. Driscoll under pressure, going to go down inside the 25-yard line. They will mark his forward progress at the 25. T.J. Watt. Well, you get Watt, charge. you get Dupree, you get the push inside from Hayward and Tua. This is just a great job with the pass rush. See how they collapse the pocket. You get push up inside, you get speed off the edge, and that's all it takes to get the sack from Driscoll. And Sutton has gone to the locker room for the Broncos. He left the bench a little bit early. On second and ten, here come the Steelers again. Oh, goodness. Driscoll never had a chance. He goes down at his own 32-yard line. The charge led by T.J. Watt. That's a bad set by the, the right tackle, Wilkinson. He just goes right by him. You can't be late out of your stance. I mean, you've got to be able to set the edge. This is just too easy for a guy like T.J. Watt. This got to come away with a touchdown. Gordon in the backfield. Driscoll going to throw. Throw it away. Throw it away. Pulls it down. Oh. Goes down at the 10-yard line. Cannot take a sack on first and goal. You cannot do that. And Driscoll, even though he hasn't had the reps great. Three receivers set. Watson looks for Johnson, and a low pass couldn't be handled. Incomplete. T.J. Watt coming in to greet the quarterback. Didn't take long to go ahead and get at the quarterback, did it? Watch number 90 in black right away. And what he also does well is he gets his arms up to help to obscure the vision of Deshaun Watson, helping he throws a strike on that one. A lot of poise from their fourth year QB, Watson, and down he goes. T.J. Watt hits Brandon Cooks. He saw that coming the entire way. Does T.J. Watt coming right at him. Little toss there. And T.J. Watt on the spot. Doesn't get drawn in by any of the motions. Sees it, and he's right there for the play. T.J. Watt said. The quarterback, and remember, it's about how they get there. Can they punch the ball free, create another takeaway? They're going to need it because Deshaun Watson has some magic in him. Rush coming, and good night. T.J. Watt gets to the quarterback. And in a hurry, too. This did not take him long at all. Goes right inside. Darren Fells, the tight end, is supposed to chip him. He's supposed to get over there and at least, you know, bump him off his route. He doesn't, he's not able to step down fast enough because T.J. Watt's first step off the line of scrimmage is so quick. And he gets right in. In these 30 longs. Fitzpatrick, number 39, upper left-hand corner of your screen. Third down and 10. Wentz looking on third down. Again, can't find anyone, and down he goes. The birthday boy, T.J. Watt, turns 26 today. Takes down Wentz for a loss of eight, forcing a Philadelphia punt. Yeah, T.J. Watt gets the sack. This is credit to the secondary. T.J. Watt up at the top. Now the secondary is what gets his coverage sack. You see Carson Wentz pumping, pumping, hoping he can get someone open. They were plastered on the backside. And T.J. Watt, to, uh, in order to honor that Steagles team from 1943. Oh, I love it. 
are loving it here. The Eagles right now. Eagles from the 25. They have two timeouts. As Sanders is met by T.J. Watt for a loss. Of down two. 10 points and make it a ball game again. Fulgham back on the field. Driscoll in as an extra blocker. First and goal for the five as Sanders slips and he will lose yardage. This ball off to the right, you want to go and then there? all of a sudden you play yeah, yeah, action and you get two good runs there. But I think this team actually can just run the football right at them. They've already shown it on multiple plays. Not this time. Hunt knocked down behind the line and a loss of one again. T.J. Watt so quick. Well, this is a zone, so. This team is too good, the Steeler team. Watch how we're gonna slide. See how everyone's running left right there? Well, if you're gonna go lateral against the Steeler defense, they are gonna give you a lot of trouble, I believe, just because they have people at all seven spots. Because they're down two scores here in the first half. Keep him as a big part of your offense. He's the leader, and already they're starting to pay dividends on this drive. Second year following the plays, 10th year with the organization, second and seven. Devoured in the backfield by T.J. Watt. Steelers were ready for it, and Henry could not get a running start. So they control here, but watch Watt, who just makes a beeline for Derrick Henry. He really had nothing else in mind. So the control of the line of scrimmage. Number five in the NFL in rushing, just under 160 yards per game. It's Henry, and he is hit immediately by Watt. Second time we've seen T.J. Watt get into the backfield as he slips right past the right tackle, Dennis Kelly, number 71, to take down Derrick Henry. One other thing that Pittsburgh's oh, They are 5-0, oh, but they've played in a bunch of tight games. Games where they've had to rally in the fourth quarter. Play fake. Tannehill is dumped at the 19-yard line by T.J. Watt. Watch Watt, but watch what he does when he gets there as he beats Dennis Kelly first. See, you see him, he goes for the football. Yeah, he's going to get the sack if he just goes ahead and carries through with the tackle. But he's well, second and 13. We come up on the three-minute mark of the third quarter. Steelers leading it 27 to 14. Tannehill, that ball was tipped. Incomplete. Try to hit Janu Smith. Uh, just a fingertip by T.J. Watt. That's all it took. He's all over the place in this game. Isn't Simple little dive play in the middle on first down makes things kind of flow. Third and eight. Keeps it. And waiting for him was Watt. I'll tell you right now, there's not many people on earth who could make this play. He does take them both. His responsibility here is tough. He has to do the back on that one, and he decides to stop his momentum and come right back. Is that... mm -hmm. yep. It's eight seconds, and they're ready to go. There it is. Okay. You got to move around. Here's Jackson's throw. He was hit when he threw it. He's got time probably at this point, Tony. got one play to the end zone. Well, that was the play just to do the quick out because they're going to protect the end zone. So it's like get about eight more yards, throw it like they were doing, but he just got hit. You saw a guy on the sideline, and that's where your big-time players have to come up. Watt gets a hand on, and that would have gotten the ball down. Picks up 15. Quick pass deflected by T.J. Watt, and they run after it, but it was a forward pass. Well, T.J. Watt's as good at getting off the ball as anybody. He gets off so quickly. And he has great instincts. He's the quarterback. And you'll see he's looking right there. He times it. He's dangerous whenever he's around the ball. Anybody with the ball. Another first down and 10 spread formation, Jim. Watt coming in on him, and he wisely unloads it. Let's go back down to Tracy. Well, Jim, I spoke with Mike McCarthy coming out of To go up two scores. Irving's come back in, sitting out one play. Second and goal. Ball. Incomplete. Up in the air for a while. 
Yeah, just another simple route they're trying to throw out to the tight end. Blake Bell here and Hayward and Watt trying to catch it just as well. Looked like he's thrown right at him. For the running back. You're getting this ball out of your hands. Has to get to the 49. It's fourth and eight. Hayward's on him. Hayward's not going to let him go. And Watt finishes it off. The Pittsburgh defense up to the occasion again. I tell you what. Hayward, these guys are huge when the game matters. Hayward puts his left arm on a guy, drives him all the way back into on Connor Williams. Like I said, a man among boys. Look at on that left side right there. Just pushes it almost like he's running through somebody on his way. And that right there is why Mike Tomlin said he played a dominant performance last week against the Ravens. He gave him off on Wednesday. Light work, he said, but I need you Sunday. Look at that. The best teams right now in the AFC North are the ones that have success running the football and playing good defense. Third down and 12 for Burrow and the Bengals. Burrow in trouble. Down he goes. Back at the 33-yard line. The Steelers coming into this game, 32 sacks, most in the NFL. They've led the league each of the last three seasons. And T.J. Watt off the edge, Bud Dupree doing a phenomenal job all season long. And this is why you want to be run first. Because of the passing game, now it starts to tighten up. Joe Burrow's trying to find someone. And if you don't have... Empty backfield, Burrow on first down, under pressure, down he goes, second sack for T.J. Watt. And now the Bengals hustle back. An opening drive for Jacksonville. Yeah. Luton pulls the trigger, nobody home. Two receivers in the vicinity, and this drive stalls. It's now fourth down. Watt with some heat on Luton. So we talked at the top that not only does T.J. Watt give you the numbers, it's just this unrelenting pressure that he brings to the quarterback and into the offensive back Actually in the third. Mark it at the 35-yard line for Jacksonville. Luton. He got hit hard, drilled on the play by T.J. Watt. He just released the football. Justice Hill who did a good job running on that last drive. Pittsburgh is ready for him here. Going to bring him down for a loss of a couple of yards. Let's go back to Robert Griff. Jackson was out during the week. He had a chance to run with the first team. But other than that, not a lot of opportunity. Third and four. He hits, and he gets hit. And will go down. Next to the 27-yard line. But Dupree, Cameron Haywood, among those around the quarterback because he was trying to climb the pocket. And it's another three and out for the Ravens. Yeah, this is what he can't do that we just talked about because you've got T.J. Watt who's going to come off the edge and there is no way that they're going to be able to block him with Tyree Phillips who's a guard or a center out there trying to play that. So there's nothing wrong with that. Give him a good, good center snap if that comes to that. Trying to get some yards and not lose any, and he'll be thrown back down. T.J. Watt finally with a splash play to make a field goal attempt if they choose it even longer. Well, the, when you run option plays, the best way to attack it is to attack it and not sit there and be passive and wait on it all to come to you. Just go take somebody violently, and a lot of times you'll see the quarterback go, oh, no, here you go. Brings Devin Duvernay back in motion the other way. Look at what coming, what got him. TJ with sack 10 on the season. So basically here you're going to see the safety come inside and the offensive lineman Tyree Phillips is going to opt for that safety. I think that 
Robert Griffin III might say, why don't you get number 90 and let me worry about number 34. Blitz coming. Smith standing in, in trouble and dropped. Second sack tonight for the Steelers. It's the league leader, T.J. Watt. And there's that definition. You know, we're just going to keep adding until we get home. Two, four, six blitzers that time. Coming in with your four down and then adding a little bit more. Whatever it takes to get to the quarterback. And, and credit Washington's offensive line tonight. They've done a good job handling. That was just so many bodies coming at them. And well-timed coming off the edge. Yeah, I love when you asked Mike Tomlin about the pass rush. He said it is not a third and three. Smith, pressure coming, throws it away, I think, or is it a fumble? Steelers have recovered as the fumble, waiting for a signal. And it's Pittsburgh football. Alex Highsmith has it. T.J. Watt was in around the quarterback. Now we'll see if Smith actually had a forward pass or not. And now they actually change and say incomplete. There's also a penalty flag on the field as well. Well, it looks like the hand has to come forward with a little bit of control of the football, right? And it did according. There's no foul on the play, and the ruling on the field was an incomplete pass. Fourth down. So everything you saw there didn't happen. <laughs> All right, Gar, that's good news for Washington. Here's McKissick on the carry. And the ball is loose, and it's recovered by Washington. Came out there, Logan Thomas hopped on it. It'll be a third down. Oh. <laughs> Uh, T.J. Watt is right there. He's the one that strips it out, and, and he's got the best shot at it. Look at the hustle by Logan Thomas. I mean, that looks like it's going to be T.J. Watt's fumble recovery. Uh, again, he just had a heck of a night. He, he's doing so here's the deal. Pittsburgh only has one timeout left. And they're going to run it to Barber, who gets smoked by Watt, and is trying to get the ball, too. So, reality, they probably only get the ball back. With Singletary's the back, but he's out at the top of your screen. 20, what's that? <laughs> It's a four-man rush. He is flushed. It's deflected by Watt and incomplete. It bounced. It bounced. Incomplete. So we have second down. Good pressure off the edge from Alex Highsmith, helping to force it out. Well, the one guy they were seriously concerned about inside was Cameron Hayward, and you see the push that he got right up the middle along with Alex Highsmith, who's taken over for Bud Dupree on the outside, and they were lucky to get away. Just to make that tackle after seeing his brother go down on the earlier play. On third and two, running, and nothing doing. T.J. Watt is there again. The biggest star on the top-scoring defense in the NFL, T.J. Watt. But one of the things you want to do against the run, especially on perimeter run, is set the edge and turn everything back in. And you watch T.J. Watt here. You see him just get rid of the tight end, and there's nowhere to go for Gio Bernard after that. Everything just breaks down. He's just one of the very best. A.J. Green, bottom of your screen. Finley in big trouble. He has dropped back at the 19-yard line. Watt is in there along with Alex Highsmith. Looked like might have got a piece of the face mask on Finley, but there is no flag. Watch That's a this. loss of 14. Watch this pocket collapse on Ryan Finley, but Finley, you cannot go backwards. You got to go forward. That's where you have to go as a quarterback. That opens up the read or you run, but if you go backwards, you have no shot. Michelle either, Lewis. They've got to they've got to continue to produce offensively to protect the football. You would expect them to keep it on the ground, and there's Pirine for a loss. Who else? T.J. Watt on the stop. And now Rivers is knocked down by Watt. Only took the second snap for Watt, the league's leading sack artist, to get one here. Remember, they're without their top two tackles. Well, you'll see right here. That's one-on-one. -on -one. 
TJ Watt against Green. That right there is not going to hold up as this game goes on. Uh, we just talked about it, Jim. You got to distribute that burden, and I mean, you got to chip Six yard gun, return. Gun, gun, gun. Gun. And now here's River. Watch behind him. The ball is on the ground. Picked up by the Steelers, Hilton. Tackled by Taylor at the three. Just when they needed a spark, the Steeler defense comes up with one. Well, they get him right here because you don't want to play action when they're pressuring you off the edge. Hilton times it beautifully. He doesn't look like he's coming, right? He's just going to guard him. Nope. Here he comes. And now you got to get out of that very quickly. And Watt hits that ball right there. You can see. Just grab the arm right around the elbow area. And that's where the tenth of seconds matters so much when you have a Watt and you have a guy who could time the blitz like Hilton does. And what a monster play if you're a Steeler fan when it didn't feel like much was going right you come up with that big one that's the first no, stop you're in there Turbo's hit. you have to explain it to me nobody understands this TJ Watt makes the tackle here on Chubb where's the blitz Marsh in there because Alex Highsmith is out Feel that tip and incomplete for the intended receiver. Second and ten. Yeah, and TJ Watt, not much of a factor in hitting Baker Mayfield, but at least got his hands up there to be able to knock it down. And that's now maybe what they have to resort to. Almost an admission that they are not getting close to Baker Mayfield. So see.